stanza 1. In these lines, the poet says that childhood is a golden period when the child shines like an angel. Childhood is angelic in the sense that it is both innocent and pure. A child is nearer to God because a child's vision of heaven has not yet been sullied and spoiled by the physical and material world. It is his second life on earth. The poet lived his first life in heaven, the vision of which is still nourished by the child. The childhood is the time when he has not yet learned to think of any other matter except the purity of heaven. Thus, in these lines, the poet regrets the loss of his childhood. Stanza 2 the poet says that the period of his infancy was the time when he had just come from heaven. Heaven is poet's first love from where he has come to this earth. As a child, he has not traveled farther than a mile or two and therefore he can still envision heaven's celestial beauty and glory. The poet in his childhood finds vision of heaven and eternity in the glories of natural objects such as flowers and cloud. The beauty of natural objects is only a faint reflection of the glories of heaven and as a child he can perceive those glories. In his childhood he could see the bright face of God. The poet wants to convey the idea that in childhood Man is near God, but as he grows up, he moves away from God because of the influence of materialism. Stanza 3 In these lines, the poet describes that childhood is angelic because it is both innocent and pure. It was a time when his thoughts, words and deeds were pure. He had not yet learned to say any sinful word which would hurt anyone's conscience. But as man grows up, he becomes sinful in thoughts, words and deeds. He acquires enough wickedness and wants to satisfy the needs of his five senses. The poet says that in childhood he could feel through his body the bright rays of eternity. Thus, in these lines, the poet glorifies the childhood. Stanza 4 In these lines, there is a strong desire in poet to go back to the old days of his childhood. He wants to be a child again so that he can bathe himself in the golden vision of heaven. Childhood was his golden period which had enabled him to have communion with God. These golden memories remind him of the scene of the heaven which is a city of palm trees. This city of palm trees is seen as a second Jerusalem. In this way the poet longs for going back to the days of his childhood. Stanza 5 In this stanza the poet wishes to return to the heavenly days of his childhood but he regrets that now he cannot do so. After his prolonged stay on this earth, his life has been badly influenced by the materialism. Now his soul feels unable to go back to the golden days of childhood. The poet says that people want to make progress in life, but he wishes to go back in his childhood. The poet's movement back to childhood suggests a spiritual progress where he can again have communion with God and see the heavenly glories.